and welcome to Dear Mummy Blog. My name's Dawn and this is... Bella and this is... Alex. And today we are talking about what we got up to this week. So it is our 22nd weekly vlog this week. Um, we've been super super busy. We're coming towards the tail end now of the school holidays. Um, as you can see we've got our ears on. We're going to talk about these a little bit later. But first over to Daddy because Daddy basically looked after Bella this week on the summer holidays and uh, it was Daddy Takeover on our social channels this week as well so uh, he took the helm while I was at work and uh, looked after Bella for a whole for a whole week um, so yeah they got up to lots and lots of things and first I got this I know we're gonna talk about yeah. that we're gonna talk about that a little bit later so Daddy what did you do with Bella this week? So we got up to lots didn't we? So we started the week off with a trip to uh, Marwell. So we went off down to Marwell Zoo, which is about 30 minutes, 35 minutes from, from where we live. The zoo for the day and just wandered around. We got I there about what? Oh, I what? I get to see a cheetah. You did get to see a cheetah. Both cheetahs were a little bit far away from us, but we did manage to find them when we saw their tails wagging. So yeah. we what? saw the penguins, what? What? we saw, who else did we see? Zebras! You saw the zebras, yeah? yeah? Who, zebras. who did we start with? Can you remember? Snow. Snow leopards! Yeah, so we started with the snow leopards who were absolutely gorgeous, who were sleeping in the in the in the sun that they had. So we did that the and, we, uh, and we had a great time. Marvel's a great wildlife park. We went down to the King's Theatre in Portsmouth. Yeah. We were very kindly invited down to watch the new um, adaptation of Madagascar on the stage, so they're touring at the minute. And we saw it with Matt Terry from The X Factor, and he did a brilliant job as Alex the Lion. The whole cast, um, in fairness, were, were brilliant. I, I particularly liked um, Marty the zebra, who I thought was, you know, really brought the character from from the TV to from the film um, to life on the stage. Big big feet to fill, or hooves, should I say? Did you enjoy it? Yeah, and guess what? My favourite character was the zebra too. You yeah, like the zebra too. I kind of wish I watched Madagascar the musical now. So while I was at work, you guys were watching that on the stage. So I would like to see Matt Terry in fairness as well. Who's Matt Terry? Matt Terry. He was the one that played Alex the Lion. Oh, he was yeah. a, he was a lovely one. Hey, I didn't want to Did see you? that. Yeah. So <laughs> Bella's got a lovely photograph of her and Matt Terry from the X Factor on our Instagram at the moment. And he, yeah, he's hotty. Uh, no offense, Daddy. Um, yeah, he's 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 really really hot. But Bella also saw another celebrity this week as well. So Daddy took her up to London for the launch of the Microsoft Surface Go, which is like a tablet. Daddy will explain a little bit more because obviously he went to the event. But there was also a celebrity there as well, another celebrity that Bella met. Um, who is actually one of our idols. I absolutely she love watching this guy on TV. She he? It was a he. No, it's a she. It was a she. Right, well, shall I let Daddy say? Who All right, was? Well, Bella's referring to Jennifer House, who who uh, is head of Brit Mums. Mm. Um, but we actually saw Ben Fogel, so most ben people Fogel. will know Ben Fogel from, ben from Fogel. Living in the Wild. Um, and uh, he's an adventurer. He's a TV explorer, isn't he? Yeah, yeah. and he's done he's it's done a lot for, for charity as well. But he was there as the host. Um, it was a great event. We went up to the white space in uh, in London, Leicester Square. Um, we went. To, Bella wanted to see where Daddy worked, so yeah. so we went there. She got her first trip in an Uber, which um, yeah, other taxi services do do, uh, do do exist. Um, and yeah, it was a great day. We really looked after lots of um, lots of people there, and just a great opportunity to see and be introduced to Microsoft's new tablet, um, which has been released um, for really families and, and children. Um, it's the Surface Go. It uh, obviously rivals um, Apple and, and Samsung's products. Um, very reasonably priced. Um, you can purchase a pen with it as well, which really helps uh, help be kind of write and draw and doodle and, and do loads of things that that, um, that uh, the tablet now allows you to do. And it's really Microsoft trying to tap into the to the family market. Yeah. We were really impressed with it. Yeah, we were really impressed, impressed with the panel. You liked that, didn't you, Bella? Yeah. yeah. It was in partnership with uh, with John Lewis as well. Um, and it was all about uh, bringing imagination and creativity to life in a fun way using technology and really kind of embracing it and not being fun. Yeah, I mean, so technology great. to kind of facilitate adventures, outdoor adventures and creativity and really nurture that. So if you want to find more information out about the Surface Go, 
um, type in hashtag go imagine and you'll find loads of posts, loads of information about what Microsoft are trying to do to help promote kids actively learning on these Surface Go tablets but also encouraging you know getting outdoors, exploring, being creative with tablets as well and uh, yeah I mean Bella absolutely loved it and looking at the footage um, it looked like a fantastic event. Creativity and imagination is as important uh, a part of children's development as education. So we have a, an exciting panel we are discussing. But we did do something together as a family this week. We went to... Tell them, where do we go? We went to Carfest South, uh, which is just outside Overton in Hampshire. It is a, a lovely festival organised by Chris Evans. And um, guess what I got that out of the girl? Yeah. So as you can see, Bella has a pudsy bear because the event actually raises money dun, for dun, children dun, dun. in need. Um, so a great cause, um, some fantastic bands and music that was there. Uh, we were lucky enough to see, uh, we saw Raksu, which I, I absolutely love. From X Factor as well. Um, we also saw Paloma Faith and Texas, which are brilliant. <laughs> We saw a little bit of reef as well. Uh, we sadly missed status quo, didn't we? Yeah, because it was a bit rainy on the last day. But it was really good. We enjoyed all the racing, didn't we? We saw lots of cars racing up and down the track. The track actually goes within the festival. It goes around in a ring and you've got the main stage on one side and you've got all the other like kind of stands and foodie places as well. And guess what? I was on a big brownie brownie thing and had it to go like on call and a really crazy the monster out. truck. Oh yes! Bella went, went on the monster truck! Jeez! We can see this monster truck, yeah, over in the distance and on the far fields. Revving away and everything. Um, and uh, Bella goes, I want to go on that. And I thought she was talking about something completely different, so we walk up to like a kiddie go-kart thing. She goes, no mummy, I want to go on that big, big monster truck. She was so brave, I didn't go on it. Daddy didn't go on it, Bella went on it with her, with her granddad, and my gosh, she had a good time. Um, no, I had a rubber train on that. Oh, uh, I heard you squealing, Bella. Oh yeah, that was squealing and fear. <laughs> yeah, that was great. No, it, it was really good in fairness. I mean, Carter's Steam Fair were down there and we love that. It's an old-fashioned um, fairground um, attraction with all the rides. We went on the ghost show, didn't we? I was screaming because I thought there was no cars to bump on top of the Oh, yes, yeah, yeah, because the monster truck was going cars. over everything, yeah. Um, Ooh, you know, for, for racing enthusiasts, you know, people that love cars, fantastic event. Um, we, you know, we were watching supercars racing past us at, you know, 100 and whatever miles an hour. Doing donuts as well in the turning circle. So yeah, so, so for those that don't know Carfest, we've reviewed it before, but it uh, takes place in the north and in the south. So in the south it takes place at Jody Schechter's um, Love Stop. Uh, part farm. This year we were able to see the cars actually going round in a, in a circuit as opposed to disappearing off into the distance and then and then coming back again. It meant there were more cars and also a lot of the manufacturers get there, so Peugeot, Lexus, Volvo, um, Jaguar and, 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 and many others um, were all there. So if you're into your cars or you just want to get up and close and, and personal with some of these vehicles, it's a great opportunity and for kids it's a great experience as well. Yeah, so, really great one, I love good. it. But also for foodies as well, like they had a food Fair. Um, we went to a stand that was called Milk and More, um, and uh, yeah, it looked really good. Like all the, um, it's like a kind of delivery service. Thing, really I can think of it is. So if you think about um, your old school, your old school milkmen. So yeah. those, those of us who are old enough to remember the old milk flakes that used to come around delivering our, our like milk, five in the morning? cereal and, and produce. Um, milk and More pretty much is going back to old school values. A fully sustainable business. So they focus on um, electrical. 
uh, floats as well, so try and uh, reduce their impact on the environment. But it's trying to bring some of those old school values back into, into our local uh, communities. And, and pretty much everything from eggs, milk, cereal, I mean, there, there was a, oh, there oh, was yeah, a lot, like lot on raises. offer. She kept picking things off the shelf in the stands, and you could see all the people were like, oh no, don't, don't pick those up, and she went to go and pick up an egg box. And I thought, oh no, she's going to drop it. But thankfully there was no eggs in it, it was just a display I was, thing. I was more worried about the pint of milk she picked up. Yeah, the, I know. Off the third shelf up. And talking about eggs though, as well, the nice thing about Carfest is that when it is shutting it down with rain, there is certain areas that you can go to see like crafts and stuff. Um, Bella did this really cool Play-Doh craft egg thing, didn't you Bella? She made like an egg bird oh, or egg Bertina. Uh, I don't know where it is actually. Oh, I know no, 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 no. I know where it is. Oh, do you? Yeah. Well, what we'll do is we'll put a little, we'll insert a little clip into the video okay. and you guys can see. So, all in all, it was a fantastic event. Um, Carfest, we are going to do our own separate vlog on Carfest because there's just so much to show you guys. So, this is it. This is the end wait, of our guys, weekly vlog. We guys, really hope. Wait. What? That's our doorbell going. I wonder who that could be. No, 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 no. We've got to say goodbye. Bye. So, we hope you enjoyed our weekly vlog this week. If you like this video, please give us a big thumbs up. And click subscribe, ring the bell, and we'll see you next week. Okay, all right, bye!